In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a simple crane camera rig. The end result will look something like this. To break it down simply, I've created a null and inside of there I have a target camera, which is pointing at a target, and it's aligned to an arc, or a simple curved spline. To do this, go ahead and create a new scene. Start by adding a subject for your scene. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to add a figure object. Next, add a target camera to your scene, which you can do by pressing and holding on the light object here and choosing target camera. What this does is it creates a new camera that is pointing at this camera target object right here. So if we move that target, uh, the camera adjusts. Next, we're going to create a curved motion path for this object. And we're going to do that by adding an arc spline. So press and hold on this freehand spline tool and get down to the arc. By default, the arc uh, starts at the, at the floor and goes up to about 200 units high, it looks like. I tend to arrange my scenes so that my objects have their feet resting on the floor. So select your figure and set its Y position to 300. So it's standing on the floor. And now, adjust your arc. We're going to adjust the radius of this arc so that we're getting uh, the motion of our crane. I'm going to increase the radius here until it's roughly the height of my figure, maybe a little bit taller. And then I'm going to adjust my start and end angle. Because if my camera was to start at zero, it would actually be on the floor. And at 90, it would be directly above my character. So I'm going to set the start angle to 15 degrees and the end angle to 75. Next, whenever you're planning on using a spline uh, for the align to spline tag, change intermediate points from adaptive to uniform. And that just ensures a smoother motion of your, of your object. Next, Let's go ahead and put this camera on our arc. So right click on the camera, choose Cinema 4D Tags, and choose Align to Spline. This creates a new tag that allows us to drag in our arc. So click and drag your arc into Spline Path. And now we can adjust the position setting here to animate our camera over time. At frame zero, I'm going to set position to 0% and add a keyframe by holding down the control key on my keyboard and clicking. Next, I'm going to go to frame 90, set position to 100%, hold down control again, and click to add a second keyframe. So now, if I look through this camera, which I can do by clicking on this icon right here, I can watch as my camera moves up like so. Now presently, my camera is focusing on the feet of my object. I can adjust that by moving my camera target. And I'm going to do that in my four-way view. I'm just going to move my target object up until it is centered at the head of my character. Now, if I press play, I get this. Yeah. If I want to adjust the uh, angle at which I'm looking at my object, all I have to do is grab my arc and rotate it in my top view. So I take my arc and I can adjust its heading rotation. And we get something like this. Now my camera is framed a little poorly. Uh, I'm just going to move my target down until the head is on the, uh, the one third line here. There we go. When I play through this one more time, I get a nice, smooth, crane-like camera animation. Because this is something you'll probably use a lot, you can just select your arc, your camera, and your camera target and group them by hitting Alt or Option G on your keyboard and name this Crane Camera Rig. Delete your figure, save out this file, and then you can just merge this file into any scene where you need a crane camera rig.